The defence team for Oscar Pistorius went on the attack today, cross-examining the lead detective, investigating the fatal shooting of Reva Steenkamp. Detective Hilton Bota first testified the police had a witness that heard non-stop talking like shouting at the Pistorius house late on the night of the shooting. Under defence questioning, he had to admit the witness was 600 yards away. The prosecution's trying to prove the couple quarrelled that Reva hid in the bathroom and that Pistorius shot her four times through the door. Bota also testified that the bullets fired were angled down and fired from a distance of about five feet. But when pressed, he said he wasn't a forensic expert and couldn't be sure. And he admitted the defense investigators had found a bullet slug still embedded in the toilet that the police had missed. The police said they'd found syringes and testosterone in Pistorius's bedroom. The defense countered it was a herbal remedy. Prosecutors had to admit they actually didn't know what it was. This may be a bail hearing, but today felt like a trial within a trial, giving a taste of what's to come, with two of the country's top lawyers squaring off in heated cross-examination and much of the key evidence already revealed and being challenged. As the day wore on, the track star broke down in tears again in the courtroom. One of his uncles, Arnold Pistorius, said he's and, uh, deeply so, traumatized. So he's grieving. He's in, he's in extreme shock. And I don't expect him to get over it. In a statement, Pistorius's family said they hoped the hearing provided more clarity about this tragic event, and they insisted that the world-famous Paralympian wouldn't be a flight risk if he was released on bail, as he'd be recognized wherever he went. Emma Heard at the police station where Pistorius is being held tonight, and the third day of the bail hearing is tomorrow. Emma, thanks very much.